at home, in the office, and on the streets. The cost of simply living has skyrocketed due to the rising energy prices. No matter what the reason for the increases, the effects have been devastating on both families and businesses. There is a cost-effective and efficient energy source that is currently available that is being restricted by zoning regulations. Wind is a natural source of energy that is completely renewable, environmentally responsible, and totally free. A series of large turbines can power a city. A single turbine can supply enough energy to run a factory. Yet there are smaller models available for individual use. These turbines supply enough electricity to nearly free a home from the power grid. However, when used in combination with a geothermal furnace, it will also heat and cool the home. It would also be an excellent source of power for an electric car, giving additional energy independence. This is not a future possibility. It is available now. There are wind turbines available that have fully self-contained systems that are designed for individuals. They produce power in as little as 7 miles per hour wind. Instead of a battery system, the excess energy is banked on the grid to be used at a later date or is bought by the electric company. The tower is shorter and less intrusive to the aesthetic appreciation of the area. There are effective systems which are only 33 feet, which is shorter than most two-story homes. In addition, the enclosed noise reduction feature keeps it from being a bad neighbor. Combined with the tax incentives, the cost savings would pay for the system in about five years. With all these benefits, why aren't more people jumping on the bandwagon and taking advantage of the free energy? It's simple. They can't. Local zoning regulations list wind turbines as a separate structure and limit their height. These outdated regulations stand in the way of energy independence not only for individuals but also for businesses and the country. It is time to demand that the zoning regulations be changed and updated. Call, email or write your local representative and ask that she or he stand behind wind power by changing the zoning regulations. If she or he can't find the motivation to become involved, 2008 is an election year and it is time for a change.